Drinking coffee in the morning is a perfect way to lift your mood and get an energy boost for the entire day. It helps you handle daily tasks, making them more enjoyable and manageable. Without a doubt, this is why coffee has become a favorite beverage for millions of people. But how much do you really know about coffee? This drink may be offering you far more benefits than you realize. Coffee contains substances that can help protect the body from type 2 diabetes and heart failure, increase energy levels and concentration, support liver health by reducing the risk of cirrhosis and cancer, lower the chances of stroke, Alzheimer's disease, and Parkinson's disease, as well as enhance endurance in athletes. However, uh, coffee has also been linked to an increased risk of depression and even self-harming thoughts. And that is just the beginning. There are many fascinating facts about coffee that you might not have even imagined. So grab your cup of coffee and, and stay with us until the end of this episode. We are about to reveal 10 incredible facts about this amazing beverage. This video is going to be incredibly informative and helpful. If you want to take control of your health like a pro, give it a like and let's get started. Chapter 10. Coffee and its impact on energy levels. Have you ever noticed how just one cup of coffee can turn a slow, drowsy morning into a moment of alertness and energy? This is all thanks to caffeine, a natural stimulant that triggers a cascade of chemical reactions in the body. Its primary function is to block adenosine, a substance responsible for the feeling of fatigue. As soon as caffeine enters the bloodstream, it begins competing with adenosine for space in brain receptors. As a result, tiredness takes a back seat and you experience a surge of energy. A study conducted at Johns Hopkins University found that even moderate doses of caffeine, around 100 milligrams, equivalent to one cup of coffee, enhance short-term memory and improve the speed of information processing. Meanwhile, sports research by the American College of Sports Medicine confirmed that cyclists who drank coffee before a race increased their endurance by 12% while their perception of fatigue decreased by an average of 30%. But coffee does not just affect physical performance. It also stimulates the release of dopamine, often referred to as the pleasure hormone, which boosts motivation and enhances focus. This is why many people feel more productive after their morning cup of this aromatic beverage. However, it is important to remember that over time, the body adapts to caffeine requiring a higher amount of coffee to achieve the same effect. Ha! Chapter 9. Coffee as a protector against type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is a condition that has reached epidemic proportions in today's world. According to the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases in the United States, more than 37 million Americans currently have this disease, while an additional 96 million are in a pre-diabetic state. This means that nearly half of the adult population in the country is at risk. But there is good news. Coffee may significantly reduce the likelihood of developing this condition. A study conducted by Harvard University, which included more than 100,000 people, found that those who drank between three and five cups of coffee per day had a 25% lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes compared to those who did not consume this beverage. Surprisingly, the positive effect remained even when drinking decaffeinated coffee. This effect is explained by the combination of beneficial compounds found in coffee. It is rich in antioxidants, polyphenols, and magnesium, which enhance the sensitivity of cells to insulin. Additionally, coffee helps protect the beta cells of the pancreas, which are responsible for insulin production. In the long run, this enables the body to regulate blood sugar levels more efficiently and reduces the risk of developing diabetes. Now, chapter eight, coffee and weight control. Many nutritionists consider coffee an important tool in the fight against excess weight, but not everyone understands exactly why this beverage helps maintain a lean physique. The key lies in caffeine, which stimulates thermogenesis, a process that generates heat and promotes calorie burning. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that caffeine consumption increases metabolism by an average of 3 to 11 percent, depending on individual physiological characteristics. The most significant effect was observed in individuals with a lower body mass index. Additionally, coffee can influence appetite. In an experiment conducted by researchers at the University of Georgia, 
Participants who drank a cup of coffee 30 minutes before breakfast consumed an average of 100 to 150 fewer kilocalories compared to those who did not drink coffee. This suggests that coffee may help regulate overeating, particularly in the morning. However, it is important to remember that adding sugar, syrups, cream, or full-fat milk eliminates coffee's benefits, turning it into a high-calorie indulgence. For example, a popular caramel latte can contain up to 400 kilocalories, almost as much as a full meal. Chapter 7. Coffee and Mental Health The connection between coffee consumption and emotional well-being has intrigued scientists for many years. A study conducted by the Harvard School of Public Health found that people who drank between two and four cups of coffee per day had a 20% lower risk of developing depression compared to those who did not drink coffee. Researchers attribute this effect to several factors. First, caffeine increases levels of dopamine and serotonin, neurotransmitters responsible for maintaining a positive mood. Second, the antioxidants found in coffee help protect brain cells from oxidative stress, which can contribute to depressive states. One of the most surprising discoveries relates to the link between coffee and self-harming thoughts. A long-term study by the National Institute of Mental Health in the United States, which included more than 200,000 participants, revealed that individuals who drank four cups of coffee per day had a 53% lower likelihood of experiencing such thoughts compared to those who consumed less than one cup per day. However, it is important not to overdo it. Research indicates that excessively high doses of caffeine, more than 600 milligrams per day, can lead to increased anxiety and worsen sleep quality, which in turn can negatively affect mental well-being. Chapter 6. Coffee and Liver Protection the liver is one of the most essential organs in the body, responsible for filtering toxins, processing nutrients, and regulating metabolism on a daily basis. However, due to poor diet, alcohol consumption, and certain medications, it often faces significant strain. A study published in the journal Hepatology found that regular coffee consumption can significantly reduce the risk of liver disease. People who drank at least one cup of coffee per day were 15% less likely to experience chronic liver conditions, while those who consumed four cups per day lowered their risk by as much as 70%. Furthermore, research conducted by the University of Texas at Austin revealed that coffee helps reduce liver stiffness, prevents the buildup of scar tissue, and decreases the likelihood of developing cirrhosis, even among individuals at high risk, such as those who consume excessive amounts of alcohol. Scientists attribute these protective effects to the powerful antioxidants found in coffee, as well as its ability to reduce inflammation in the body. However, it is important to remember that coffee alone cannot counteract the negative effects of unhealthy habits. It simply supports liver health when combined with an overall healthy lifestyle. Chapter 5. Coffee and Heart Health who would have thought that the simple habit of starting the day with a cup of aromatic coffee could be a real gift for the heart? It turns out that regular coffee consumption can strengthen the cardiovascular system and protect it from numerous health issues. A study conducted by researchers at the Harvard School of Public Health found that people who drank between three and five cups of coffee per day were 15% less likely to develop heart disease compared to those who avoided caffeine. Even more impressive are the findings on coffee's impact on stroke risk. According to a meta-analysis published in the journal Stroke, individuals who consumed around four cups of coffee per day had 21% lower likelihood of experiencing a stroke. Scientists attribute this effect to coffee's high antioxidant content, which helps fight inflammation and protects blood vessels from damage. However, as with anything, moderation is key. Consuming excessive amounts of coffee can cause spikes in blood pressure. A study involving 21,000 participants found that for individuals with hypertension, excessive caffeine intake worsens symptoms. Therefore, those with unstable blood pressure should monitor how they feel uh, and adjust their coffee consumption according to their body's needs. Chapter 4. Coffee and Brain Health Every day, our brain faces numerous challenges. Stress, fatigue, and lack of sleep can all negatively impact cognitive functions. 
but here's some good news for coffee lovers. This beverage can help protect the brain from age-related changes and may even prevent the development of serious neurodegenerative conditions. One of the most concerning diagnoses of modern times is Alzheimer's disease, which gradually deteriorates memory and thinking abilities. A study conducted by researchers at the University of South Florida found that people who regularly drank coffee had a 30% lower risk of developing Alzheimer's disease compared to those who rarely consumed it or did not drink it at all. Equally remarkable results have been observed in studies related to Parkinson's disease. Uh, this condition affects the nervous system and leads to the gradual loss of motor functions. Data collected by scientists from the National Institute on Aging in the United States revealed that coffee drinkers were 32% less likely to develop Parkinson's disease. Furthermore, among those who were already diagnosed, regular coffee consumption helped slow the progression of symptoms. And that is not all. Coffee also reduces the risk of cognitive impairments that can lead to dementia with age. Thanks to its antioxidant properties and ability to improve blood circulation in the brain, coffee helps maintain mental clarity and concentration even in later years. Nutherd Chapter 3, Coffee and Skin Health. Coffee benefits not only internal organs, but also physical appearance. Its rich composition makes it a powerful ally in maintaining healthy skin. The key active components are polyphenols and chlorogenic acids. These natural compounds have anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties that protect the skin from damage and premature aging. A study published in the Journal of Dermatological Science found that the antioxidants in coffee help reduce the harmful effects of ultraviolet rays on the skin. People who regularly consumed coffee were less likely to experience photo-aging and sun-induced pigmentation. But coffee is not just beneficial as a drink, it can also be used as a natural skincare product. Coffee grounds serve as an effective exfoliant, helping to remove dead skin cells, laugh, improve microcirculation, and enhance skin elasticity. Liquid coffee can also be applied as a toner to refresh and revitalize the skin. However, before applying, it is important to ensure that the coffee has cooled to a comfortable temperature to avoid irritation. Chapter 2. Coffee and Athletic Performance Coffee has long been a go-to choice for both professional athletes and fitness enthusiasts. This beverage not only provides an energy boost, but also significantly enhances physical endurance. According to research conducted by the American College of Sports Medicine, caffeine improves athletic performance by, by stimulating the central nervous system. Like studies have shown that consuming coffee 30 to 60 minutes before a workout can increase endurance by 12 to 17% and reduce the feeling of fatigue. Interestingly, this effect is observed even in older adults. A study conducted by researchers at the University of Illinois, which included 125 participants aged 65 and older, found that those who regularly drank coffee were more physically active, experienced less muscle weakness, and performed better in walking speed and balance tests. However, it is important to keep in mind that coffee has a diuretic effect. Therefore, during intense workouts, maintaining proper hydration is essential to avoid dehydration. <sighs> Chapter 1. How much coffee can you drink without harm? As with any product, balance is key when it comes to coffee. Its benefits are undeniable, but excessive consumption can lead to unpleasant effects. High doses of caffeine may cause anxiety, irritability, and disrupt sleep quality. For most people, the optimal amount of coffee is between two and three cups per day. This level of consumption provides all the positive effects without putting excessive strain on the nervous system. However, individual factors also play a role. People with high blood pressure should monitor their caffeine intake, as it can temporarily increase blood pressure levels. Pregnant and breastfeeding women are advised by medical professionals to limit coffee consumption as caffeine can pass through the placenta and into breast milk, potentially causing restlessness in infants. It is also important to consider that caffeine's effects vary based on genetics. Some people metabolize caffeine quickly, while others process it more slowly, which influences their sensitivity to the beverage. If you experience nervousness or difficulty sleeping after drinking coffee, it may be worth reducing your intake. 
as with anything, moderation is key. Coffee can be a true elixir of energy and longevity when consumed wisely and with attention to your body's needs. Um, next, I recommend checking out these videos, and don't forget to, to leave your likes and comments, I'm looking forward to them.